a uh, Tony uh, from The Sopranos. <clears throat> hey, look, uh, you're a Catholic. I'm kind of a Catholic, you know. I read the Holy Bible, but I've never read it. I downloaded it. Matter of fact, I helped write it. I'm about to prove that. But uh, look ahead, Tony. Uh, you know, we got the Pope over there, right? You know, we're both religious, Tony. I mean, we do our thing. Business is business, you know. We keep it out of the... Uh, out of the civilian light, and which is gangsta on gangsta, and, and, and we go to church on Sunday, Tony. You know how we do. But look, uh, I got some news for you, okay? You got the Illuminati, right? And you got these Illuminati infiltrators, right? And that's what they are. Well, they've infiltrated the Catholic Church. And I know, I know Tony, that you're, uh, you're a, a, a Catholic, Tony. So look, uh, look here, man. So what I wanted to do is uh, give you a little information, right, about what the Illuminati's using so that they can hack your mind. And when they hack your mind, Tony, hey, uh, Tony. <laughs> Sometimes I go from a, a, a Italian accent to a black person's accent, like Bon Gino or something. <laughs> Fox News, <laughs> Tony. So, uh, yeah, I didn't really work on my, <laughs> my Italian accent. <laughs> so here's the deal, Tony. <laughs> See, the, uh, uh, the Pope over there has some information right here that is in the Bible, right? So he's a Christian. He reads the Bible, right? Well, he's reading the Bible, and he sees this information that could affect your life negatively, Tony. And you're a Catholic, and he didn't think to tell you about how this information could affect your life negatively. Actually, the information could affect your life very positively, <laughs> <laughs> you can just send the checks to the cowboy church there. <laughs> See, I used to be Daniel in a past life. And uh, I'm going to go to a whole new accent right now just to kind of really mix it up like a trifecta, right? We'll do the trifecta. But here's what I wanted to tell you in this uh, Steven Spielberg production of Brilliance <laughs> is the Pope is failing to tell his church a translation that Daniel put in the Bible 2,000 and however many years ago, and he's failing to tell the church because he's Illuminati. And only the Illuminati would cover this up, which is bona fide evidence that the Bible is true. So if you have bona fide evidence that the Bible is true, and forecasted exactly what I'm about to translate to you, Tony, and you are the leader of the Catholic Church, well, you think you would take that information and ram it down everybody's throat who says they aren't Christian, because that's just really not the Christian thing to do, but that would be the thing to do. You don't really have to ram it down their throat. I guess the Christian thing to do would just be to put the information out there to your Christian base who happens to be Tony from Sopranos who is affected by the, t the information that I'm about to give you. Okay? So my screensaver just popped up there, uh, Tony. Hold on. I'm not a real professional here. But what I'm trying to tell you, Tony from Sopranos, is the Pope is holding this information back from his entire flock. And it's this information that is hacking your mind so that the NSA and the FISA court and the Pentagon and all these Nazis of the planet can hack in there and find out what kind of criminal activity you're up to, Tony from Sopranos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Daniel warned us of this. So you've got Daniel who warned us of this 2,000 years ago with bona fide evidence that this is true today. And the Pope is withholding this translation from his entire flock. You know why he's doing that, Tony, from Sopranos? Because he's an Illuminati transhumanist nigger. That's why. He is not a Catholic. He's a fake Catholic. He is totally fraud. He's fraud like Washington. He's fraud like the media. Fraudulent Illuminati. Pieces of shit. So, Tony, me and you are part of the Illuminati, and I'm about to, the Illuminati? Yeah, the Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, we're going to hang on to our Bible and our Christian roots, and we're going to show these technological so-called elite why you don't want to claim that the Lord of Spirits or spirits are non-essential, especially pipeliners like Daniel from way back when, blast from the past, payback from way back. <laughs> Cha -cha. And this is in the Bible right here, Tony. You ready for this? Daniel 2.43. And as you saw iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the descendants of men, but they shall not hold to one, one another, even as the iron is not mixed with the clay. Now you'll have to look this up, right? And then you're going to have to go back, write all this down, Tony. Have one of your little servants there, one of your little gangster servants, write all this down. And I want you to take this to the Pope and ask him, Hey, Pope. <laughs> How come you're allowing these Nazis to hack our minds so they can find out what kind of crimes I'm committing? Right? That's what you got to do because it's illegal to do that. And uh, not only that, the Pope should have told his, because uh, he has this translation, Tony. See, the Pope has all my emails. He has this translation right here, a translation that the FISA court and the NSA can confirm that I translated myself for the very first time on planet Earth because I wrote it 2,000 years ago, <coughs> by the way. Oh, yeah, and you can check out all that Colin Powell and Bob on the Dole stuff. Maybe you'll start believing me. <coughs> iron mixed with miry clay is 5G towers that are made of iron and planted in cement, and they mingle themselves through microwaves with man. But the microwaves do not hold to one another, even as the iron from the tower doesn't completely blend with the concrete. It rats around the iron. Now, what I want you to do, Tony, is go back and read the original Daniel 2.43 verse. Just pull it up in your Bible there. And then read, write down what I just wrote. And read all of that. And then I want you to take that to the Pope. And I want you to ask the Pope, Hey, Pope, why are you allowing these Nazi scumbag pieces of shit, transhumanist trash, to hack our minds so they can find out what kind of crimes I'm committing. That's what I want you to do, Tony. Could you do that for me? Matter of fact, why don't you do that for the whole of the Christian community because it's absolutely illegal. And Daniel gave us a warning about it in the Bible a very long time ago. And I sure would appreciate if you could just take a baseball bat to the Pope and just beat him over the head with him and ask him, why are we keeping this a secret? You know? I mean, you know, I just get Tony and the rest of the mob bosses there, and we'll just all go into the Pope's office with that and ask him that. And uh, you'll find out real quick that uh, you're going to church in the Catholic community to you're going to church in a Catholic community to serve an Illuminati overlord who is not even Christian. So you're basically wasting your time going to church, Tony. <coughs>